If you ask Chip Hare what he remembers of Dayton basketball, he'll tell you about 1984 when the team made it all the way to the Elite Eight. That was just before his time, but the season inspired him to become a flyer. He believes history very well repeat itself tonight. It's been 19 years since Chip Hare stepped onto the hard court as a Dayton flyer. I was forward center. Uh, I would, uh, uh, some would say there wasn't a shot I didn't like. I played inside, but I was also fortunate enough to uh, be able to play on the outside and uh, also like to shoot the three ball. Now an athletic director at Piqua High School, the former UD basketball player was featured on countless program covers during his 91 to 95 stint. An experience he says he values more with each passing year. For me, being a part of such a tradition is, as I get older, is it's, it's a true honor. As an alum and a former Dayton player, uh, there's a lot of pride that runs through uh, your heart. A and pride embedded uh, in hair since his early years. Like he recalls Dayton's 1984 Sweet 16 win and truly believes it can be repeated by this team today. We always want to be a part of something that's bigger than ourselves, and certainly Dayton basketball brings that. It brings it to the community of Dayton, but it's nice to see the national spotlight getting put on Dayton. If Dayton wins this six, sweet 16 game tonight, Hare will be on his way to Memphis to cheer on his team in the Elite Eight. Alexa Ashwell, 2 News, working for you.